Hello, my name is Andy Young. I'm a security solutions architect at Keysight Technologies. This session is called Find It Before They Do. Uh, or in other words, we're going to discuss how to find security weaknesses in your network before the hackers do. So your network probably has misconfigurations, and gaps and vulnerabilities. And I think you know that and we know that and the hackers know that. And, and if it doesn't today, Will it have them tomorrow? And do we know? I mean, we're only human, uh, which of course is one of the main causes of those misconfigurations, gaps, vulnerabilities. I mean, the hackers are human too, of course, but the difference is we have to be 100% lucky 100% at the time. Hackers only need to be you know, 1% lucky 1% at the time, and, th and they've succeeded. And you know, even if they don't succeed today, will that be the case tomorrow? And then when that kind of new earth shattering hack is announced tomorrow, it, is that going to be the case? You know, and, and how come these hackers seem to have all the time in the world and you don't? So, you know, maybe it's time to, to level things up a little bit. I mean, but the question is, like, do you know where those gaps and weaknesses and vulnerabilities are? And will you find it before they do? I mean, sure, you, know, you, you may have pen testing services and that's great. Um, you know, you, you will probably schedule them to come along in six, 10 months time, you know, to run audits and, and such. So, I mean, hopefully nothing will happen till then. But let me just show you an alternative way. I've installed Threat Simulator on my network. And what I'm trying to achieve is to emulate a particular threat actor and one of their specific campaigns, namely uh, APT29 and their wellness campaign. Sounds quite complex. Let's have a look how we do it. If I go to the assessments, this is effectively a library of the assessments that are available for me to, to choose. There are tens of thousands of them, and they're logically organized. And if I wanted to look at a different view, say the MITRE attack matrix navigator kind of view, I could go uh, there and select different tactics and techniques um, and run those from there. However, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go back to assessments and I'm going to search for the specific campaign. And here it is, APT 29 2020 Wellness Campaign. What does that look like? Well, there's different views I could take, ladder diagrams. Let's look at the information. This is a kill chain scenario, so we have three different stages. There's, there's more details in the description here telling me about uh, APT29, known as Cozy Bear, a, a Russian-based threat actor. And it gives us the, the, the different steps or stages of the, of the kill chain here. So all the information that, that I need to run it. But to actually run it, it's quite simple to do. I just click this button here, and there's a couple of things I have to do. Firstly, I have to select the agent that I want to run it against. So because I wish to test a specific IPS, I'm going to define the agent that sits behind that IPS. So it's this one here. Now all I need to do is give it a name and click Add and Run Scenario. At this stage, the uh, assessment is going to set itself up, start initializing. Uh, any moment now we'll see it appear in this window and we'll get to see the status of the, the assessment. So there it is. There are the three different stages, starting off with exploitation, there's installation, and then there's command and control. Uh, and because it's a kill chain, in the, the default is, of course, for each uh, each subsequent stage is dependent on the previous one. So what I would ideally look for here is the exploitation stage to be blocked. And then the subsequent two stages would be uh, skipped as a result, as it couldn't go any further. Now, what we see here is the exploitation stage has been allowed. Uh, in this context, that's not good. We would like to see that blocked. Um, and we would like to see also not just the ability of the uh, security control to be able to, to block, but also the ability of the scene to 
you know, have visibility uh, to be alerted by that security control as well. At this stage, we're seeing that uh, the first and now the second stages uh, are allowed. I'll come back to this, um, but we can go in and, and have a look at the details if we wish. And what I can do is, well, I can see lots of details if I wish. I can really kind of drill down but, uh, and, and, and see all the different communications with the seam uh, and see the indicators of compromise. But I'm going to keep it simple and just look at the recommendations because after all, that's what I really want to know. Now, the recommendations can be um, generic. They can be concerned with you know, the, the art of prevention. Maybe education uh, would be included there. But, but actually, I want to see some specific recommendations from my specific uh, vendor, this being Palo Alto IPS. And it's telling me I would need to enable these signatures in, in order to uh, be able to, to mitigate this, this issue. So there we can see all three of those stages have been allowed. So that's not good. What I'm going to go and do now is go and configure my IPS. And then as soon as I've done that, I'll be right back and I will run the assessment again. And we'll be able to see where we are. Has it fixed it? OK, so I've just configured my uh, security control to be able to, to block those. Uh, so all I need to do now is, is simply run this again. So it's going to go through exactly the, the same set of stages. Uh, but just to quickly reiterate, what I'm looking for now is the first stage to be blocked so that the, the kill chain can't continue on to, uh, all, to complete uh, all three stages. So the first stage is, is just running right now. Hopefully any moment we'll get to see the result. There we have it. First stage is now blocked. So now I can be confident that this uh, potential problem for me has been fixed. I had a misconfiguration on my IPS. I've applied the recommendations and now we're good to go. So what else might I wish to do? Well, in reality, I want to make sure that I'm running this on a regular basis because I don't want to find that someone backs off a configuration or something happens. So I will give this uh, scenario um, some, some automation and get it to run on a daily basis. And what I'll do, I will start it running as of tomorrow. And I'll do that early in the morning so it doesn't trouble me during the day. And then first thing in the morning, I'll come in and I'll check to see that this scenario has run. And I'm looking for the ability to, to, to block it. So there you have it. In summary, Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, then why not take the Keysight Challenge? Try out Threat Simulator for free for two weeks and go find it before they do.